So hopefully you're already logged in. You've already linked your Khan Academy class with myself, Mike, as a learning coach, so I can see what you're doing. I wanted to actually take some time now to show you a little bit around Khan Academy, what you're actually doing there, how to interpret all that you're seeing. There's a lot of great stuff available for you, but it can be kind of confusing at first. So let's go ahead and get logged in. I'm going to click on Start Learning Now. I'm going to log in with my test student email. Go ahead and sign in. And here I am. So it automatically takes me to the home page. And here you can see any of the missions that you've started. You can start as many missions as you want simply by looking at subjects, going under math, and picking on an area that you want to focus on. You may want to start with arithmetic and just get really solid with fractions, positive, negative numbers, and decimals. You may feel like you're more ready to do pre-algebra. That would be helpful for you. Or you may feel like you just want to work on some algebra. You're maybe going through another algebra class, but you want to really review some other things and get some better instruction. You can come in and pick somewhere that you feel like you really need to review and work on that would be helpful for you in terms of your mathematics. Say if I want to start an Algebra 1 mission, I can click on Algebra 1. And... Here we are, I'm getting ready to start the Algebra 1 mission. So it's going to do a few math problems to help me help it know where I am. Now here is what problems look like in Khan Academy. So in this interface, I can see that in this warm-up, I need to do all six problems. So there's six problems there. The question is over here, I need to rewrite this as a simplified fraction. So I'm given 2.3 with a line over it. I have a place to check my answer once I type my answer into this text box here. I can click, I haven't learned this yet. And if you're doing a mission warm-up, that's fine. Not only does Khan Academy have practice problems, it has a lot of instruction as well. So you can do learning and practice and learning and practice. So if you haven't learned this yet, that's fine. This is a math support class. I want to know what you haven't learned so we can help you learn it. I can also get hints. So on this particular problem, it says let x equal the decimal, set up two equations such that the digits after the decimal point are identical. All right, maybe that wasn't that helpful. Let's look at another hint. 10 times x equals 23.33, so x must be 2.3333, on and on with the decimal. There's my two equations, not subtracting the two, so 10x minus 1x is leaves 9x, 23.33. So the hints can help me go through it, and if I'm really stuck, I can watch a video. So how to convert repeating decimals into fractions. That's what I'm asked to do, so let's watch a video and learn how to do it. Once I've done that, I can exit out of the video, and I can come back and say, okay, three ninths is the same as two and a, two and a third. I can check my answer, and I got it correct. I'm feeling really good about that. I like that. So there you go. So you're going to go through the problems. You can use a calculator if you need, uh, and you'll have video access if you don't know how to do the problem. You're just working through on your way on stuff. Maybe I haven't learned how to do division yet. So I can click on that. At the market, six batteries. So how much does eight batteries? So I might convert that into rate and solve it out. And then when I'm done, I can click X. So that's the mission warm up. Now once I'm done, now I'm in my Algebra 1 mission home screen here. So I can go back into the warm-up and work on those problems by clicking Start. Now let's go back through. I want to finish this warm-up. Let's say 8 batteries cost $12. Alright, so there we go. One of them we took a lot of hints. Three of them we didn't know, but we did get two right. This is the mission warm-up. And now I'm going to show my points. 
Here's kind of the cool part is you get lots of points. It makes it kind of fun. It brings a gaming aspect. I can see I knew one step equations and evaluating expressions. So it tells me what I understood and what I didn't know. Uh, you can get little badges. And I can continue on the next task or I can exit out now. And now that I finished the warm up, now it's going to kind of customize. If I'm working through this Algebra 1 mission, it's going to say, okay, here's all the skills you could work on. Three of them I've already mastered. And I can start practicing. It looks like I, it's recommending I start practicing on adding decimals. The next one will be order of operations. So I can click practice and just start working through the mission. But there you go. So that's the Algebra 1 mission. And basically at this point, it's, this is where I need to be. I'm just going to keep working through this, keep putting in the time, keep working through it. As I finally understand it, as I get videos, as I watch stuff and finally get questions, I'll slowly move my way and start understanding some things I need to. There's no penalty. You just do as many questions as you need until you start understanding some things. If the videos, if the practice questions, if you still feel like you're getting stuck, definitely call me, let me know. I'd love to help work out with you specifically and get you some tutoring that you need. You may find this Algebra 1 maybe too hard. Maybe we find that we need to go back. So I can click on Home. And I already have a pre-algebra mission. Notice it's there. I can click on and go back to pre-algebra or I can click on subjects. If algebra was too hard, maybe I come in here and start a pre-algebra one or maybe I start an arithmetic. You can go start a mission by clicking on any of these grade levels or topics. Clicking on home takes you to where you can see all the missions that you have available. So I may go back and say, Algebra 1, I'm not ready for that one. I need to really work on pre-algebra stuff. And so I can go back and resume pre-algebra. You can see in pre-algebra, I've got a lot done already. I've already mastered 13 skills. I've made 10% progress. I'm doing pretty good in my pre-algebra mission. So that's where I want you to do it. I want you to work on missions at the level that you need to be successful. Some other things, if I go back to my profile here, some other things I wanted to show you is home will show you the missions. Again, we were just there. There's all the three missions I've started. There's all the badges that I've earned as I've been working. So that makes it kind of fun to see what you've already earned. But progress, this is what I thought might be helpful to show you as well. Uh, you can see there's a certain amount of time that you need to be working, putting in where I can see what you're working on every day. So you can see by skills, you can see what videos you watched, you can see activity. This is what I want to see. I want to see day by day how much activity have you put in. So on August 6th, we put in about nine minutes. So you need to be putting a certain amount of time in. You need to put putting in about five hours a week is what I'm asking. So over a course of a term, you'll have done 60 total hours of math review, math practice, math instruction. And that would be a great way to get you get your math skills all beefed up uh, for your other math classes. So make sure you're coming in here, you're putting in the time that you need, that your time spent is up high enough to where you're getting credit for the class. Okay, I think that's a pretty good introduction. You got missions, you got your progress, you just need to be in here working. Don't tackle things that are too hard. Make sure you're at the level that you need to where you can consistently make some good progress and learn some good skills. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'd love to connect up with you, meet with you, to help get you some math tutoring. Uh, make sure you're feeling successful in this math support class.